Good afternoon. Things have been smooth in Bernalillo County today, but Sandoval County is a different story. We have team coverage tonight in both counties. We start with News 13's Alex Goldsmith. He learned why some voters were turned away from the polls this morning. Alex. Kim, voting problems here in 2012 put Sandoval County under the microscope. Today, another problem. Rio Rancho voters are supposed to be allowed to vote at 17 different locations in the city. But a whole group of people living on the edge of the city somehow weren't included in that. The county clerk's office noticed the glitch and notified the voting vendor, Automated Election Services, about two weeks ago. But the problem wasn't fixed. And this morning, about 10 voters, somewhere around a dozen voters at Rio Rancho Middle School and other locations weren't allowed to vote. To add to that, provisional ballots wouldn't print and some voters left without voting. The problem was fixed, but Republicans cried foul. I want to know if they're going to try and contact those people to, to come back and vote. They have the right to vote. I really don't know that anyone didn't get offered a um, provisional ballot. See, so I'm not sure where that came from, you know, but as far as I know, there was, everyone was offered something, you know, they just didn't maybe get one, I'm not sure. Following an emergency hearing, Judge George Eichwell ordered the county to remind workers they must give out provisional ballots if there is a glitch. However, the judge also determined that the problem was the vendor's fault and not the county's. Now, we called that vendor for comment to get you an explanation about what happened. So far, no word back, at least yet. Back. Okay, thank you, Alex. Now, we have heard of wait times in Bernalillo County from anywhere between 20 minutes to more than an hour. And they may get longer as work lets out. News 13's Chris McKee is live at Washington Middle School, one of the busiest sites so far. Yeah, Kim, and you can see just how busy this site is right now. About 50 or so people at least in line and is starting to wrap a little bit around the building out into the front parking lot there on Park Avenue for those who know this school. Uh, there haven't been any major problems so far, but printer problems have actually slowed things down at some sites. I'm from Chicago and we do that kind of political game happened a lot, but I don't expect it here in Albuquerque. Now, Susan C. High Smith was one of the few dozens of people who had to wait for more than an hour to vote at Bandelier Elementary this morning. At that voting site, the techs who were printing ballots actually ran out of ink for one of their two printers. The clerk's office sent someone to deliver more ink, but that delay to get a new cartridge sent some people back out the doors either to vote elsewhere or maybe not even vote. We don't know. One crew's got another ink cartridge in. That line shortens to about 20 minutes. That's the wait now at about a third of Bernalillo County's 69 open voting centers. And the idea of having to wait for someone to come from downtown to put a new ink cartridge in that's going to take at least an hour seems absurd. And my concern is when people leave, only half of them are going to go to another site and vote. And we're going to lose votes that way. And this is a critical election in very many ways. Now, other than the ink at Bandelier, the clerk's office says no other polling places have reported problems here today. They will send extra staff to places that are overcrowded, and they did do that at Bandelier Elementary this morning. More than 36,000 people have cast ballots just today, so a lot of people still trying to get their votes happening. The numbers are expected to pick up towards 7 o'clock. That's when the polls closes, but as long as you are in line, you will be able to vote. Kim, back to you. Okay, thank you, Chris. In line by 7. Now, right now, the busiest sites are Madison Middle School in the Northeast Heights, UNM, Bandelier Elementary, and Montgomery Crossing.